What's up guys, it's the Cheapster here, back with another video, and today we have another Nielsen survey. So I've had two of these in the past. One was a just kind of like regular questionnaire, and then there was one that was a radio diary. I've done videos on both of those just kind of explaining what they are. Um, and now I've actually got a big old package that came in the mail today. Uh, this is the biggest one, so I was pretty excited to see this because if you see Nielsen, First off, it means there's usually going to be free money inside the envelope, but it means that there's going to be some kind of survey that you can do to make some free money. So why not just do it? Um, first off, I do want to say, because I always get this question when I do these type of videos about Nielsen, you cannot request these. They kind of just come to you. I think maybe there is something you can do where you can go on their website and you can actually kind of sign up for other types of surveys. But these kind of things, these are just, they'll come to your address uh, if you have an address. I don't know if... I think they will come to apartments too, uh, but I think specifically, especially households, if you own a house and stuff like that, I think you'll get Nielsen surveys a little bit more because uh, that's definitely what I've seen. We've gotten a lot of them now. So let's get into it. So this is, I'll go over exactly what this is and how you can fill this out. So this one actually is a Nielsen consumer survey. So just opening it up, let's see what is inside. Uh, no money, where's the money? It actually just fell out. <laughs> There it is. There's always money uh, in these Nielsen surveys, which is great. So there's a buck. I mean, you just get to keep a buck. Why not? That's awesome. Uh, so it's uh, got a description of what this is. And then there's the booklet that you're actually going to fill out. So just going over what this is, uh, for me specifically, this is for the Greenville area. So you'll have whatever this comes to you it will be for whatever your area is. That's where they're getting the data that they want. So it starts off by saying that a few weeks ago they mailed me a letter asking to help with a study about consumer preferences. I didn't get that letter. I don't, I don't know where that was. Uh, I'm kind of disappointed because anytime they mail something, it usually comes with money. So that letter probably would have had some money in it, but I didn't get it. So I don't know what that was about. I do always kind of wonder with that stuff. If like any of the neighbors, like when they find one themselves, if they like go door to door, or just like take those letters out of the mailbox. Cause you know, there's money in them. It's kind of a problem that you could have with them, but I didn't get that letter. So I don't know, but it says local businesses and media companies are interested in hearing from people like you so they can make more informed decisions about how to best serve consumers in your area. Only a limited number of households have been selected to represent each community. Your participation represents thousands of people just like you uh, and is critical in the success of our study. So this one specifically says, please have the adult in your household age 18 and up who has the most recent birthday complete the survey. That would be me because my birthday was just last month uh, and then my wife's birthday is next month. So I beat her on that one. Uh, so it says the enclosed cash is a way of saving, saying thank you for considering our request. We will send you an additional 10 bucks for your participation when you, we receive your completed survey. If someone in your household has already completed this survey, please accept our sincerest apologies and be assured your cash gift is on its way. You do not need to complete the survey again. So you only do these once per household, at least this specific consumer survey. Um, and then that's pretty much it. So that's everything with the letter there. And it's just filling out this booklet. Um, so mine says, Nielsen Consumer Survey, you could make a difference in the Greenville, Spartanburg, Asheville, Anderson area. Your opinion counts. Please complete and return as soon as possible. So this one is pretty chonky. I got to say, I, this one's a lot bigger. I kind of feel like this reminds me of like an SAT. It's kind of giving me a little bit of PTSD from like having to sit down and take an SAT, but at least this one's all opinions. I can't get the answers wrong or can I? I don't know. Maybe you can't get it wrong, but <laughs> uh, it looks like, so it is a lot of questions, but just, just flip to the first page. So the first page just talks about everything that you're gonna need to do. It says, thank you for taking part in our consumer survey. This survey should only take a short amount of time to complete. Your answers are very important to us and we will and will be kept strictly confidential. So that's good to know, although the whole point of this is they're sharing it. So it's not that confidential, but confidential towards everyone else, I guess. But that actually is another thing to talk about. Obviously, if you have a problem with sharing your information, this is not for you. You don't need to make this 10 bucks then. me. People are taking your information anyway, you might as well get paid for it. So I'm fine with sharing it and getting 10 bucks plus another buck. All right, so then it says, simple. Read each question carefully. Some ask you, others ask about your household. 
Some questions ask about different time periods. Place an X in the box to mark your answer. Do not color in the entire box. Do not mark outside the box. So that is kind of an important one. It really is specific that it wants you to do the X here. That's correct. Don't do this because this is what I would do, but I guess you can't do that. You got to do the X. And then some questions need only one answer for others. Mark all that apply. Use only a black or blue ballpoint pen. Do not use a pencil, magic marker, felt pen, or gel pen. No number two pencil. That's like all we know about these. You always have to have the number two pencil. And then it says after completing it, you mail it. So we'll talk about mailing it in just a second. But yeah, from there, you will just go through and fill out the whole form. It's very long and in detail. There's a lot of stuff in this, but you know, it shouldn't take too long. I imagine I'll probably just throw on a podcast or TV show or something or whatever, and then just fill this out while I'm watching it because it's not going to take too much brain power to fill out my opinions, probably. But then once you get to the last page, you get a big old thank you. Why does this kind of crack me up? It's a <laughs> tiny little thank you on this massive page. They could have done like a huge bubble letter thank you, some explosions, confetti. That's all you get though. I guess you get 10 bucks, so I can't really complain. But then from here, it says to answer these questions about you. So your first name, your last name, telephone, email, and then a bunch of stuff about how they appreciate it. And then this is the important part here where it says to mail your book. So it says open the flap to extend the back cover, remove adhesive strip, fold flap, please do not use staples and mail the booklet back immediately. So basically all you're gonna do from here is just take this adhesive strip off right there, peel that off and then fold the book over and fold that down so that will stick sorry bump the mic that will stick down there so you'll have it like that and then you can see the back has all the information and everything so that you can just stick that in the mail and then this little thing right here no postage necessary if mailed in the united states so you'll just slip that in your mailbox stick the flag up or put it in a post office box or whatever mail that off and you can get your 10 bucks usually i think these come takes about a week, maybe two weeks for the $10 to come. They may blow your phone up. They really do like to call for some reason once you receive them and say like, are you gonna do them? Are you, are you gonna get them back to us? They're very eager for your data, which means they're making more than 10 bucks off this for sure. But hey, you're getting 10 bucks, I can't complain. But that is it guys for the Nielsen Consumer Survey and what it is, how you can do it, if you can trust it. Nielsen is a legit company. Uh, they definitely do a lot of stuff with market data. And I mean, you can trust them to the extent that you're willing to share your data with someone and that you probably will get the money i haven't had a problem where i haven't gotten money when i filled out either of these things the radio diary or the other survey i've done so just look out for that or if obviously you're watching this video you probably already got it so that's how to do it so thank you guys so much for watching if you guys like the video remember to do the cheapest thing you can today tap that like button and also subscribe to the channel and i will see you guys in the next video and remember stay cheap that money. Don't you be spending it now. You're still here watching this? You might as well just subscribe. Why would you not at this point?